Hello, everybody, and welcome to Yoga Chat. I am Jesse Amitrano, and I am always with my wonderful co-host, Cici Detroya. Hi, everybody. Hi. And today we have a fantastic, amazing, amazing, amazing woman on our show. Again, highlighting and always going back to the women in business and women who really are out there on the front lines and being a part of small business in our industry, right? In, in our small business industry, whether it be yoga industry and or other types of businesses like, and this is Rochelle. Okay. Nope, we gotta start over. <laughs> All right. Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Yoga Chat. I am Jesse Amitrano. And I'm Cece Detroya. And today we are joined by a fabulous, fabulous guest who definitely holds a special place to my in my heart. Um, she is a woman in business, like a lot of the women that we have had on spotlighting and allowing just that. No, understanding and that knowledge that there are women in business and women in small business who really are making headway in local communities as being leaders of health and wellness and mindfulness. And it's, in my opinion, it is so important to keep them together. So I introduce to you from Chattanooga, Tennessee, the wonderful Rachel Pukowski. Hi, Rachel. Hello. I'm so glad to be visiting with you. You ladies are amazing. I love what you're doing. Ah. You're keeping the yoga communities together, highlighting the women in, in business and in yoga, and reminding everybody that there's still work to be done and there's still encouraging to be done and, and ways to spread what we do, even if we're doing it in a different way. So really, yeah. really glad you're doing that. Yeah, no, absolutely. And that was one of our things. And you know, we talked a little bit about before before show and how our whole goal is just to be able to A keep everybody connected. And in that looks like so many different formats right now and, and in so many different ways. And Chrissy and I were like, what better way than to have a three-way chat with our friends and find out what they're doing and how things are going and record it and send it out there. So, um, you know, so when we wanted to approach you, Rochelle, to come on the show, we were like, Rochelle is a must, a must, a must on this because, um, you know, we have much admiration for you and the fact that you own two businesses. And um, so for those of you guys who don't know Rochelle, she has two businesses in the Chattanooga area. They're actually pretty unique. It's one right on top of the other, which is so cool. And it's literally upstairs. It's the hot yoga studio. And then downstairs is the mixed up cup, which is the frozen yogurt and the juice bar. And it is so unique. And it's so wonderful that you have the, the both worlds together. But tell the tell people a little bit about yourself, Rochelle, because they might be listening. They might be yoga people. They might not be yoga people. We might have a very wide, diverse audience tuning into this. Sure. Um, so as Jesse mentioned, I live in the Chattanooga, Tennessee area. I'm a transplant here about um, February was six years. And I came here um, after getting married and got um, and with the idea to open Mixed Up Cup, our juice bar and frozen dessert lounge. And um, and I've always I've done hot yoga and hot yoga for over 10 years now. Um, and I wanted to own a studio, but I didn't see that that was possible um, at the time. And within a year of opening Mixed Up Cup, I'll, I'll spare you all the details, but it, there, a great opportunity came about that I could actually open a yoga studio, and I did that. And now we're approaching five years um, at our yoga studio in May, so we may be virtually celebrating our fifth anniversary. And we're in, we've been in the process of rebranding re this past year with the idea that we would have it fully done by um, our May 5th anniversary. So transitioning from the name Yoga East Uruwa, which is actually the town outside Chattanooga where we are, into Infinity Yoga Movement, because I see that as a much broader um, and more encompassing description of who we are, what we believe in terms of what our students are capable of, and what we want to offer, more limit, limitless possibilities. So um, it's been my mission since coming to this area, really in my past careers as well, but focused here on just spreading um, encouragement for health, wellness, fitness, educating information, and really empowering people. As it happens, uh, more of our clients are women than men. 
but I'm, I don't restrict that. I just want, I want everybody that comes through our door so that I can in contact with to feel like they're better for the experience because I've encouraged them, hopefully provided some information that will help them live a more vibrant life or just passed on a smile or something that will lift somebody up. So that's, you know, in a nutshell, what we're doing here. Um, and just trying, you know, using the, the gifts that God has given me and, uh, and, and um, in an effort to make other people's lives better. That's awesome. That is so cool about how that all came about. Um, I do know the backstory, so it's kind of cool how that ended up presenting itself to, with, to you, and now you have these two viable businesses. So tell us a little bit about what's going on in the Chattanooga area with everything being locked down and how it's affecting both of your businesses and kind of what you're doing to, um, to kind of help keep in touch with people through all this? Sure. Um, you know, both of them, I, oddly enough, um, I, I closed both to the lockdown on the same day, which was March 17th. Um, and for the yoga studio, that was, it was like a day and a half before our mayor uh, gave the mandate that all gyms and fitness studios and yeah. yoga studios had to close. Yeah. Yep. Um, I saw it coming, um, and I was actually one of the last in the area to close, and we were going through crazy steps willingly to keep studio open, you know, limiting 10 per class, um, the amount of sanitizing that we were doing and things in between, willingly doing, um, but I realized that it was going to, within a day or two, come to that, and so we, we closed our doors, and the, it was the same thing for Mixed Up Cup. Um, we were taking uh, incredible steps to keep everybody safe and spaced and, and follow protocol, um, but realize that people were just uh, very hesitant about coming out and nervous. And many of our students thanked us for being open as long as we were because they saw other studios in the area closing um, and, uh, and other things that they do, other fitness activities and, and just regular life. So what we did was um, immediately transitioned to I think it was like eight days of um, doing live um, complimentary classes on Facebook. And we have a wide range of um, styles of yoga at our studio. So everything from the hot yoga lineage, um, it runs the spectrum from that to like a heated power flow, more Krishna Macharian lineage, and then uh, restorative yoga, true yin yoga, hybrid classes. And I even have a yoga strength class I call Iron Yasa, which is like the best of bar and hot yoga because um, we also have bar classes. So we're really you know, seeing a lot of different people, meeting a lot of needs. And, um, and I did a different style of class every day for eight days. We just did that on Facebook Live. And it was great because we got to reach not just our yoga community, community, but a whole lot of other people that I've met in my travels that were like, hey, I've always wanted to practice with you, but I couldn't. So, you know, here we are um, practicing together. And then um, we made the transition after the first eight days once I got settled and saw, hey, this thing is going to be here. Like we're going to have to figure out a longer term game plan. Um, I immediately began building content for a subscription platform that will be launching pretty soon, just filming. And I'm a perfectionist, and so I want things to be good quality, and I want it to be quality instruction and video and audio. So we've been filming those bit by bit, different styles of classes where people can actually practice practice with us from all around the world in a really high quality, you know, setting. Um, and that's almost ready to launch. And we started then transitioned into, uh, after those eight days on Facebook, into Zoom, which I know a lot of people are using, which I bought stock in that, you know, <laughs> three, six months ago. Seriously. But, yeah. We transitioned into that. And, and we, after our, the first couple of days, I realized that um, no, nobody's schedule was the same, right, as it had been in, in their life before COVID-19 right. lockdowns and work and kids at home or whatever other things. And I realized I was like, there are people that wanted to come to classes but couldn't make the live times. And that's different than a studio setting, right? And I said, well, we can do something about that. So what I started doing was offering the live class with the replay option, right? So our students can use the, we reduced our drop into half price um, which normally it's 16 and now it's eight for online and they can um, anybody can sign up um, on the drop-in class live or the replay so and that's at their convenience right? anytime they want to take it for the entire rest of the day so I'm finding people are plugging it in where it works for them and their families and that's been a good fit and um, so all of our unlimited members as I'm sure you guys have at your studio a really loyal following of monthly and yearly members who make that commitment to their yoga practice and to practicing with you at your studio 
and we have a really um, nice group of a large group of those students as well and they have the option to keep their membership um, open or freeze it at no penalty or charge if they kept it open though what I did was built a huge um, VIP perks program so they're going to have access now to all the on-demand content now and after, which will include tutorials on, you know, things like, hey, here's how you do a chaturanga, working on your crow, here's how we set it up. Things that you don't always have time to break down in class, but people might be ready for next steps. Beginner stuff too. So the, those students that are hanging with the monthly and limited and the yearly memberships right now um, are going to have, I'll spare you all the details, but they have a, a rewards program that I've built that will be grandfathered in. And I was already building it for our new, um, our new name, but it would have been an add-on to a membership. And now for them, it's just, we appreciate that they're sticking with, they're still taking all these classes, um, they're still invested in the studio, and I want to thank them for that by providing these options. So that's, that's really what we're doing there at the studio and how we're staying connected um, to our students you know, on a regular basis. That's amazing. That's so cool that you did that. And, you know, Jesse and I had talked about how, you know, we've had all these ideas that we've been bouncing around for so long. And now that we're here in this, we were like, ah, uh, this, this is it. This is our divine timing to make all these great ideas start to happen. So and for as, as annoying as it is for us, you know, we lose that human contact. We do that. We're still finding that way to still come together as a community and then work on other things that we just we just needed a few more hours in a day to figure out and now we have it. So that's awesome. So good for you. Thank you. I, you know, I agree with you on that. It's been, um, there have been a number of tasks, including launching the online platform and taking time to record the classes. Really, that's the, the time yeah. um, that I, people have asked and asked and I, it seemed like such a daunting project. Like I really don't have the time to, to do an online, it's a great idea, but you know, but now I'm forced to. And so I'm thanking God for the opportunity to do this thing, which I've been interested in. And um, maybe this will resonate with you guys or anybody listening. I know everybody is thinking that they want to come out of this maybe with, you know, something um, accomplished or uh, put time aside or use it, you know, differently. And, you know, everybody's timing is different. So whatever I say, however we make it through this, fantastic. Um, but I can tell you that from, from almost day one, and I've had my meltdowns for sure, but from almost day one, my mantra has been to turn burdens into blessings and troubles into triumphs and try to use this big trouble, this big burden to do those things and, and hopefully help others do the same. You know, I think it really is like, it, it is very unique, obviously, yes, but when we talk about having these ideas and they never really got implemented before for time, um, for me, it was also like, I didn't think that there would be, not that there wouldn't be an interest, but that it would be, I'd have to sell them on it. So it's like, I would then have to, which is already a full-time job, all this learning the technology, pulling it all out, getting it all together, directing, scripting, ideaing, where are we going to go? I mean, you can see the, that's like the board back there, where we're going, what we're doing. Like, so it, all of that in itself is a full-time job. And then we'd to implement it and to have it go, then we'd have to educate or we'd have to get people comfortable with it or we'd have to get them over the hump of whatever. It's almost like this way, everybody is just like, here's your only option. So, <laughs> I mean, I <laughs> so you know, the people who are like, yeah, this is, this is something that I could see being introduced afterwards. Yeah. you know, will be on board to be, and comfortable is the word I guess I'm looking for, right? So it gets people comfortable in this space mm -hmm. and having it online in this dynamic so that I think in the future, when we do go back to work, we do go back to life, that now we're implementing, like you said, this whole, Chrissy and I have talked about it. They got the the add-on of the online classes, right? So then I know when we get out of this, we've talked multiple times about how, like I'm in Florida, she's in Jersey, how can I contribute to the studio besides just marketing, back-end, payroll? Like how can I do yoga for all those other people? And so we were like, there's no reason why we can't have a seven o'clock yin online. We can't have a whole other yin based, or not yin, but like a whole other online package built right into our, you know, normal route. And so, I mean, I know for us, we try to stay in that place where we're in creativity mm -hmm. and 
you know, and we all for sure have our emotional ups and downs and our roller coasters with everything. But I think Cindy said it, Cindy said it just so perfectly when she was like, we, we as yogis have been training. Like, you know, this is like the emotional training that we've gone through to be able to get through things like this. We are, we, we have been training to so often um, before we react, choose a response. As yogis, we've learned to stop and breathe instead of just allowing the, the mind or the body to react to something unpleasant. And I, I love that because, wow, yeah, we've been training for this for a long, long time. Yeah. It's and I would like help other people, right? Just keep training, help other people keep training for, for this kind of thing. So yeah. I'm sure that you have people that reach out to you uh, as being such an influencer in that, you know, space and in, in, in not just in the yoga space, but you also have mixed up cup as well, which is provides a lot to that community. I've saw it. I've been there. Uh, what do you, what are some of the things either, e either or whatever you want to answer, either people are reaching out to you for, um, and what are you saying to them? Are you finding people are having trouble with isolation or now as we get further along, I feel like people are having tr trouble with that. I want to get back, but I don't want to get back. I want to get back, but it is. So now they're like kind of getting pulled in different directions. What are some of the things that, um, people are reaching out to you for, for guidance? Sure. Um, yeah, I'm getting reach outs on, from both businesses. Um, and you're right. At first, the isolation seemed to be the hardest thing. And I think it still is. Mm -hmm. But like anything where uh, people start to get adjusted to a, the new normal, then change, even change back to what you want or what you, you know, you knew before can be uncomfortable for people. Mm -hmm. So there is that resistance of like, yeah, of course, I want things. I want to be able to do things, but I, I like my little cocoon. Mm -hmm. Um, and so I've had some people reach out, um, on the yoga side with just, I, you know, I miss the community. I miss the connectivity and, and some of it's just been as simple as, Hey, remember, turn your video on when you're practicing live with us. Like, I know you're here. Yeah. I know we you encourage it to, it. yeah, like, yeah I, I hear it. I get you. Um, but that's okay. Nobody really cares. They just want to know that other bodies are moving with them. And as instructors, it helps us, right? Because we don't have this instant feedback anymore that we used to have by seeing the bodies in the room. So, you know, if nobody's video is on, we're kind of like, well, I hope they've got it. But, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, wait, I see you're struggling. Let me say something to, to help that become available to you. Um, and so I think just the, the community and the connection has been um, one of the things. And a lot of people have, our students have just said, thank you for doing this and just keeping us together. Like just to mm -hmm. see your faces and hear your voices, our regular instructors has been a tremendous help um, to, to boost their spirits. And some of them are living alone um, and don't yeah. have anyone to talk to in, in their homes, in person, or give a hug or those kind of things. So um, that's, that's mostly what I'm, I'm hearing there is just like that, that disconnection from, from human touch and from human interaction in person. Well, I feel like I think so often maybe what just gets overlooked um, is the fact of really what a yoga community, what a yoga community or studio provides on like a different level. Um, as I know when I was transient and I moved around a lot with my ex-husband, I didn't know anybody. I didn't have any friends. I didn't, I, I, you know, I worked was intermittent. So I didn't really get a lot of human interactions besides some phone calls here and there, but to go to yoga, I was like, hey, okay, I can get, right? So you, and we even find with the Zoom classes online, the before and after have become our front desk. People uh -huh. stay online longer and longer. Like I have to end the meeting for people to <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna start another class so I have to. <laughs> yeah. Okay, bye. <laughs> okay, um, yeah. yeah, that part's been a lot of fun to, to share and like, even I think people also kind of enjoy the sneak peek into your homes. I feel like mm -hmm. it lets them get to know you better and you get to know them better, you know, just like, oh, that's your yeah. style. Cool. Yeah. You know, those kind of things. Yeah. Um, yeah. And on the mixed up cup front, really people are, they're definitely missing their, you know, the juices, the, especially the healthier option, the, the really healthy options that we provide. Um, and we, we've, we've opened, um, occasional days here and there. We just weren't having the volume to be open regularly, but we did some targeted openings, pre-orders, juice, uh, green detox, juice cleanses, things like that. That cause we've got regulars that depend on we that. Were just, we were just talking about this. Chrissy just sent me a message and was like, Hey, you want to put out a thing for pre-order juice cleanse? And I was like, mm -hmm. do it. 
Yeah. My husband said that to me. It was his idea, actually. I was like, I don't know. I'm telling you, do the juice cleanse, you know, like four day green detox, your best selling juice. And I was like, all right. And I put it out there and I had, you know, pre order, pre order, pre order, just like that, just from, you know, posting on mm. social media. Mm. Yeah. Interesting. So, yeah. 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 I, Chrissy's giving me the pre order thing that we got. So people are Can you see <laughs> Chrissy giving me the eye? You see her giving me the side eye? She's over there going, Mm-mm. She's like, she's mm-hmm, girl. <laughs> it's like the Brady Bunch. She's like this. She's like, yeah. <laughs> I I hear you. I, I validate you and your juice idea. Yeah, and I humbly do it because it wasn't my idea for us. So I have to give credit where where it came. Well, from. you know, it That's only cool. you know it comes to me. It comes to me because you know it's funny because once you make yourself accessible to get in touch with people or have them get in touch with you. It's like, they blow me up from every, it's hysterical. I said, I'm more popular now in isolation than I was when I wasn't. I mean, you get it. I get it. Email. I get Facebook. I get Instagram. I'm getting LinkedIn. I mean, every, they're sending me messages on the zoom class. Are you making juice? So finally I'm just like, well, maybe I should just open it up one day, limit to how many cleanses are out, make a couple flavors for six pack pickups and let's see what happens. Yeah. Yeah. I think, I think so. I think they're going to go for it. There people are missing that infusion of, of health, of goodness, of nutrients, you know, know, as you guys know, raw food, right. Energy in the body. People are slumping. They need that lift. And, and, you know, now it's at a point and I mean, I speak for myself, you know, a lot of the ways that I would buy my veggies and stuff like that, I would buy them from like, the local people that we used for the yoga school. So, you know, I'm getting stuff that was normally delivered to us in bulk Mm -hmm. and stuff like that. And right now with being in the house so much, I don't have the room to hold that kind of stuff. So now I'm even like, okay, I'm lacking a little bit. Like I want a juice. I wanted this. I want, and it's so much easier to have things that are already pre-made store in the freezer. So we're going to the store less and I, that's where that cravings now, I think, starting to come from. If I'm feeling it, I know my juice buyers at the yoga school are yeah. starting to feel it too. I agree. And I'm feeling it too. And every time we opened, you better believe I put my own order in for my, <laughs> yeah. for my juices. <laughs> exactly. And for my husband. Yeah. Because yeah. we were definitely missing that. Yeah. Yeah. And that's key. I mean, I guess I could go in there and do it myself, but you know, the convenience of, of having somebody else make it for you. Yeah, so true, right? So true. So true. So what are some of the, what are like your tips that you are telling people? Like, what do you have as like suggestions to help people get through this? you sure. And do you mean on a level of like telling my students, like interacting with my community or other yogi? What up? Everybody. Anyone. Whatever. Yeah. Whatever resonates, whatever you think people need to hear, yeah. anything. Um, my top, my top tips, at least what I think are helping me and I'm willing to share is, um, is to, to keep moving, right? Do every day, keep moving, whatever that looks like for you. If it's a yoga practice, if it's a walk, if it's 50 jumping jacks and 20 push ups, and, and that's what you can get in is, is keep moving and do it as much throughout the day as possible. Cause we are all spending more time now like this mm-hmm. on top of our devices, even more than we already were, because that's the only way to connect with anybody. So I'm telling you to keep moving and keep moving the other way, right? Keep, even if you're just moving to that backward bending stuff, I know you're on board with that, right? You two are ultimate backbenders <laughs> and I've learned a ton from both of you and I'm, and I'm grateful. My husband's watching me practice. He's like, I never saw you do like that before. I'm like, well, that's because Jesse has been through here. So <laughs> it's good. Yeah. You're a backbend baller. Ah, thanks. Um, keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. Um, make conscious choices with how you're spending your time because what I found was um, in the beginning I was really busy but I wasn't really productive and so the goal is to now be productive instead of busy and I was busy before so I had to I have I had to start to change the mindset of being busy into being productive like and and, and having it be activity that's either going to bless somebody or produce income or serve uh, the growth or maintenance of the of our businesses in terms of my work time, um, and and three treasure whatever it is that's good here that you don't you didn't get to do or weren't choosing to do enough of or any of before this, and then see what you can take with you 
you know, when things change again, whether it's back to normal or a new, new normal or whatever it is. So those are my top three, I think. That's great, great them. advice. That's great mm -hmm. advice. Mm -hmm. I love them. I think it's great. Go what ahead. are your tips? Do you guys have, you have, you, you may have already said these on future or uh, former chats, but I, if I missed them, what are your top tips or so? I, we're just encouraging people to move what, in whatever way that looks like. I mean, our school is so hot focused. Like, what are you telling people? Because your, your dynamic is very interesting because you, the yoga studio is very diverse. Your background in yoga is very diverse. So you guys, um, I feel like have a, already that a lot of different something and which everybody really loves. We're like hot. Um, so, Right. You so, have a very singular, amazing focus. Yes. Yeah, yeah, we do. Yeah, we do. And um, I mean, and it's, it's what the community has wanted. Yeah. You know, it's, it's what they've asked for. But uh, what are you telling people when they come or when they talk to you and they're like, ah, oh, we want the heat. Now we don't have the heat. Well, how are you helping them through adjust to the no heat process? That's been the big one because, you know, as you know, those that love the heat, me included, um, in my personal practice for an active, a, a young style practice, um, those that love the heat struggle to not be in the heat. And so certainly space heaters, warming up the space, wearing more layers of clothing when you practice, which is a whole other thing to get used to as well when you're used to wearing very little, right? Adding things because you feel like it's harder to move. Um, and then also if you can get into a room with any sun to warm you because that's just naturally going to um, do some extra pranayama or breathing in the beginning to draw that internal warmth in, maybe an extra mm -hmm. set, an extra five breaths or so. And telling people that even, even though there's no, I know there's no substitute for the studio experience. No way, no yeah. how. There's yeah. no substitute for, for not having the heat to be very real. And at the same time, you are better to get this practice in at a, at a less range of motion and in no heat than to opt out for now two, four, six, how many more weeks, and then come back and feel like the tin man. So I'm encouraging people to dial down their practice if they don't have heat or enough heat where they feel like they have the same, you know, a similar mobility than they're used to, to be humble. Uh, and that's hard, right? To put our pride aside and say, well, usually I can put my head on my knee and standing forehead to knee, and now I can barely pick my leg up, you know, or whatever it is. Mm -hmm. So asking people, just like all of us, just be humble, dial it down a few steps and focus on the foundation of the posture as opposed to taking it to another level and, and mm -hmm. over and over again. And I'm just, I've taken, I've taken online classes from both of you here recently. And I know you are highlighting those same things. And I think that's just so important to remind people like, hey, I'm doing it too in my practice. Yeah. 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 So that was, I was, Jesse and I were actually talking um, last week and we were talking about how when we had to start getting on and teaching to a Zoom based audience, how I actually had to sit back and think for a moment, uh, I, I, need, I need new words. Yeah, you know, and I think the body is, and we've talked about this before, like the, the body is intelligent. So if people can back off on their depth of the posture and they can um, just continue to move, that the body is intelligent. And so in a week or two, you're going to notice, okay, there's that, uh, you know, the body's responding in a way that it's almost like it's true range of motion. Now the heat for sure expedites the whole lymphatic system, which you know is a whole nother yoga chat in and of itself. And that's one of the reasons why people feel so good from the, from the, the drainage of the lymphatic system and the actual sweating and the actual like, you know, um, I call it flushing of the internal system of the body. That's I think what people are craving more than the range of motion. Um, but I don't, I don't know if we are fully conscious that that's like the feeling of what we're getting. So I think if, pe if people can just, if hot yoga people are having a hard time developing a practice in the non-heat, if they just back off a little bit, but they do it every day consistently and keep moving, then you'll notice body starting to respond and body starting to respond, um, you know, over time, over time. Yeah. Yeah. So, 
All right, everybody. Well, thank you so much. We have actually lost Rochelle. We lost her in her internet connection, but she, uh, like I said before in the beginning, she is an, an, an amazing resource and an amazing local leader um, in her, you know, Infinity Yoga Movement Studio, and as well as the Mixed Up Cup. She runs two businesses and is really is a source of so much information, leadership, knowledge um, to so many. And that's what we're looking to that's who we're looking to talk to because those people are our little light workers throughout the community right now. So um, we, oh, is she coming back on? I don't know. Oh, there she is! Oh, there you go, all right, yay! Her, her device, let's see how this goes. <laughs> oh, perfect, perfect, perfect! Awesome, so um, we were actually just saying, Rochelle, how thankful and grateful that we were to have you on today and just to chat about you know the current situation what's what's going on right now and it sounds like you have you know a stuff like well organized as always and well put together as always <laughs> even very if, thank you <laughs> even if every now and then we're like ah! <laughs> it's the balance of the force <laughs> exactly. and then things like this happen right we get kicked off of calls and lose things and that's happened during classes so i never feel all the, all together for sure <laughs> yeah and you know what? It's authentic and it's just, it is what it is in, in, a, in a beautiful way that just still allows us to connect and talk and to just be with each other even for just a few, a few moments. Um, so I thank you so much for, you know, coming on and for taking time out of your day to do this for us. It was super cool of you. I appreciate it. it was thank you both. You guys, you ladies are amazing. Truly, truly. And I, if, if anyone who gets to practice, you or or be touched by you does not realize what a jewel they have in each of you and what you're providing mm -hmm. please let me be the one to tell you um that that your resources and your service and your hearts of service are absolutely incredible and i'm grateful for everything i've learned from both of you as humans as yoga teachers and um and just really proud of you that you're doing this this is a lot a labor of love and it's incredible well oh, Michelle. that was so nice thank you thank you yeah, you're super cool. So everybody, please make sure to subscribe below. We will put Rochelle's information in the description um, below and we will link it and make sure that everybody has access to it. We'll also give Rochelle the, the link as well so she can send it out to her people if she chooses um, to let all of your community know how fabulous we think you are <laughs> for everything that you do for everybody. So um, thanks so much for joining us, everybody. Like I said, please be sure to subscribe below if you haven't already or just subscribe to our channel in general. And we thank you always, always, always from the bottom of our heart for listening. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thank you.